Good morning, sunshines. Good morning. Welcome to your next social study class. We're going to start. And for you soccer lovers, I have a new goal gift. So I'm going to give you the chance to look at it. Goal. There it goes. Goal. Goal. <laughs> so I know you're happy because especially you, Emilio, you wanted me to put another soccer goal. So there you go. <laughs> so our new goal is recognizing the ethnic groups of the Highland Region provinces. So we've been learning which are the provinces. Now we're going to see the Highland Region provinces ethnic groups. So remember, the Highland provinces are the ones that are mainly around mountains, right? And an ethnic group is a group of people with the same descendant and similar traditions. Just so we can remember. So one of those traditions, right? Now, I have a first question over here. Let's see if you can guess. How many ethnic groups do you think we have on the Highland region? Cling, 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 cling. Let's see if you guess. The number is 13. We have around 13 ethnic groups. That's a lot. Imagine only in the Highland region, not even in all Ecuador, only in the Highland region. That's a lot, right? So if they have similar traditions, one of the traditions we're going to talk about, because we're not going to check all the ethnic groups, it's a lot, but we're going to talk about some of their traditions. So, uh, their traditional clothing, that's one of their traditions. <laughs> and we're going to see some pictures with the clothing so you can take a look. Now, check this out. We have the Karanki over here. And I want you to notice all the colors they have. You see? Wow. It's so nice. Why do they have all of these colors? Because they like to represent the flowers. You know, so they have all these colorful blouses to represent the flowers that they can see in nature. Natabuela, that's another ethnic group. And do you notice that they have this gorgeous hat and they are big and they're white? Well, they represent something in nature, you wanna guess? Cling, 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 cling. The moon. So with this hat, it's like they say, Oh, this is like the moon. It's they they want to show the moon. Otavalo. This is an elementary C student on Otavalo. I wanted to check out her gorgeous clothing. And the thing that she has in her neck, the necklace, they're called walcas in Quichua. And they're very pretty and they represent many things. One of them is corn. So corn was one of the first things we start eating over here in Ecuador. And they made these walcas or their necklace with like little ding, 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 yellow circles that represent corn. Oh. Cayambi, do you see over here again? We can see the gorgeous colors on all the skirts and the blouses. Wow. Kitukara. These are also elementary C students from Kitukara. And look, they all have their traditional clothing, their walkas. The kids also have the ponchos and they have the colorful blouses. And also the walkas, like I said, not only represent corn, but they also represent gold. The necklace, you know, it's made out of gold. The real ones are actually, yes, they're deep in gold. Gold, 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 gold. And this is because we used to have a lot of gold in our um, at the beginning of Ecuador. <laughs> so they also made this to represent all the gold we had. We have the panzaleo. So in panzaleo, I took the picture of these kids, and as you can see over there, they're wearing their ponchos that are, of course, it's a piece of clothing you need because. High up there in the mountains, it's get, it gets colder and colder. So they have their ponchos. And they are red because they represent bravery. You know, like 
the movie Brave. <laughs> yes, it's like we're strong, we're warriors. Oh, that's why they have their color red. Salasacas. These kids are showing uh, the clothing, also elementary C kids, huh? And you can see the green in here also because it represents um, when you respect, you know, nature. So it's like, yes, I take care of nature. So they say, look, I have nature over here also to remind themselves that they always have to respect nature. Waranka, it's another ethnic group. As you can see, all these elementary C students. The girls, well, they she has like a plastic bag just so when it rains it doesn't get wet. That's why she has that. The girl on the uh, the um, on the back. Other than that, you can see also the the clothing, the blouses tend to be white because with white also you represent that you are pure, you know, and that you have a good heart. That you're pure. You're a good person. Pure. <laughs> That's what it represents. Chibuleo, look at this clothing, look at the necklace. And again, the red represents, yeah, I'm strong, I'm brave. Cañari, you can totally see the colors over here. Poof, it's an explosion. Because again, they like to say that we're thankful for nature, for the flowers, for the sun. So that's why they have all these cheerful colors also. Saraguro. So the saraguros are very interesting. The men wear this pant that is short. You know, the men should be, like, the pants should be longer, but it's short. It's interesting. And they have these hats, as you can see, the traditional hat. What do you think it looks like, the pattern over there? Cling, 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 cling. Yes, it looks like a cow. That's, that one was very easy. That one was very easy. So why is this? Because they represent the fact that they also want to say thank you to the animals, you know, that feed them, that help them into farming. And that's why they have this pattern over here. That, that hat is very, very hard to do. And they usually wear it on special occasions also. It's a, important. Okay. So those are some of the ethnic groups. Like I said, there's woo, so much more and it's so interesting. But those are the ones we're going to kind of check out for now. So what you're going to do for your work today, you're going to create a paper doll with four figures. So I'm going to do it with you step by step. Okay, here we go. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to have a piece of paper. I have a recycled paper. And the first thing you're going to do, you're going to fold it in half. Whoop. Ah, sorry. There we go. It's like that. You fold it in half. Whoop. Whoop. And then you, you are going to fold it in half again, like this. So, and on the other side. So basically what you're going to have is this. Okay, it's folded in. So you have one, two, three, and four. Okay, that's how it has to be folded. Okay, so once you have these, you are going to start cutting it. So you're going to get your scissors. And it's going to look something like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut like a triangle on top. You see? Then I'm going to cut some arms under like this. And like this. So I have my arms. Ah, sorry. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna look like this. Then you are gonna cut it again, but for now it's gonna look like this. And when you open it, it's going to do this. Ta da! You see? So you're gonna have 
four figures, the paper doll. So you can pause and play this video again until you're sure you got it. Okay. So you're going to choose then four ethnic groups and you're going to draw them. The ones you like that are clothing the most. You're going to say, oh, I want Salazar. Oh, I want Natabuela. And you're going to do them. So I'm going to show you uh, my sample paper doll. Okay. So this is my sample. So I have Saraguros over here. Wait, wait. <laughs> Saraguros over here. Look, I have the hat. And I have all the necklaces. And the color going on. You see? There you go. Sorry. <laughs> and then I also have Pansaleo. So I drew the boys over there. So I made the poncho and the wet pants. And then I have Natabuela. So I have the hat and the pink and the black skirt. And then I have Otavalo. Sorry, no, Cañari, I chose Cañari. So I have the necklace and the color and the colorful skirt. And look, I have all the flowers over there. You see, so I have my paper doll. So you're going to choose four from all the ones we saw, your favorites, and you're going to draw them choo, 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 and color them. Okay. Once you have them ready, you're going to paste in your notebook. So basically, you're going to fold them back. And then you're going to take your glue. And you're going to just put some glue on the back. And you're going to fold them. So in your notebook, you're going to write the team that is ethnic groups of the Highland region. Just like this. Ethnic groups of the Highland region. Traditional clothing. Traditional clothing. And then in the center, we're going to paste it. So once it pays, what's going to happen is that you're going to be able to do this. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. I have the paper doll ready. <laughs> so that's what you're going to do, okay? You're going to paste that in your notebook. And the last thing you're going to do is that on Dojo, you're going to find the activity. And you're going to send Miss Eddie a picture, okay? Of your paper dolls. If you want to do a little video so you can show me how you open, that's also okay. It's up to you, okay? Chicos de mi corazón, lo último que quería decirles es que si se sienten algún momento así como un poco tristones o piensan como, ay, yo no quiero esto, no me gusta, es normal. Todos nos sentimos así. La Miss también se siente así. Yo también pienso, no, no me gusta. Yo quiero ir a la escuela. Oh, yo quiero ver a los niños. Yo quiero salir. También siento muchas cosas así. Y um, si alguna vez se sienten así y quieren mandarme un mensajito o hacerme un videito contándome cómo se sienten, eh, pueden hacerlo. Porque estoy ahí y los voy a escuchar. Y también les voy a decir, sí, yo también me siento así. <ríe> Porque es normal sentirnos como un poco... Uh, tal vez tristes o tal vez como ya enojados y muchas cosas. Entonces, estaré ahí para ustedes siempre que quieran. Escríbanme, háganme un video, mándenme una foto, lo que ustedes quieran. Ya saben manejar Dojo y saben cómo agregar, eh, cómo agregar algún, algún mensaje o algún video, alguna foto. Así que con mucho cariño, chicos, cualquier cosa que quieran o que necesiten o que quieran contarme también, con todo el cariño. Los amo un montón, un montón. Espero que hayan disfrutado un poco la obra de Hansel y Gretel. Sé que es un poco difícil disfrutarla así, virtualmente, y que a veces se queda... Ah, ah, ah. Pero eh, espero que haya sido un poco de su agrado también. Los quiero un montón y nos vemos, o los veo, en la siguiente clase de sociales. Bye, babies. Love you.